Lean on traffic cause I really like to feel removed I don't want no friend, I would rather flood my neck with jewels Even if it's winter time, I might go drop the roof yeah. What is up everybody? It is your boy Fry. Thank you once again for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to be working on a Toronto Style 88 Glam uh, recording template. So, you know, stay tuned and we'll be breaking down some tips and tricks. I got some pretty cool stuff for you today. Uh, without further ado, you know, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you have not. Let's get into it. Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move. Sipping lean in traffic cause I really like to feel removed. I don't want no friend, I would rather flood my neck with jewels. Even if it's winter time, I might go drop the roof. Yeah, drop the roof. I might drop the roof. I might drop the roof. I might drop the roof. Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move. Sipping lean in traffic cause I really like to feel removed. <laughs> Hey, alrighty, so there you go. That's pretty much what we'll be working with today. I'll obviously start off with the auto tune. Um, auto tune, you know, you want to use your alto tenor type. Um, this is pretty much based on your vocal range uh, for kind of mid rangey voices like myself. You want to go for alto tenor if you are very high pitched, which um, most males aren't. But you know, if you want to go for soprano, you can go for that. Low male, you can kind of play around. I mean, you could even use instrument. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? As long as it sounds good. Um, but yeah, that's experimental. I would stick to alto tenor. Uh, you know, tracking, we keep stock standard, pretty much just, you know, the generic auto-tune sound. Uh, f this correction style we want to mess around with, you don't, if you don't have this one on your version of auto-tune, it doesn't really matter. It's really how you sing into the auto-tune, that's why, you know, this auto-tune is pretty cool because it has the low latency button uh, you can mess around with. You know, Humanize, I keep between 10 and 20 for this type of, like, kind of rap sing style. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, add a little natural vibrato if you want. But, yeah, that's not really main focus what we want to be working on today is our uh, main vocal as you can see let's break down our layout um actually here i've not labeled that we've got our doubler effect let's just call it uh double three because we've actually got two doubles which i'll be breaking down in another video so stay tuned for that but uh if we kind of start off on our main vocal uh, you can see i've recorded pretty like loud I, I never really record this loud as you can see that's generally uh i don't know I, I just decided to kind of turn up the preamp just to get a more kind of uh, saturated sound for my mic preamp um so it's ready before you start mixing it's pretty much important to you know work out the tone of of recording that you want you know what i mean so if you want to do a softer more uh ballad -y type of song more r b you know you want to you know you want that to kind of have the same feel when you're cranking your preamps and that type of stuff um but yeah so on our main vocal you know we got auto tune now we're going to be going to our main vocal right so we've got our hook or main vocal sent towards this kind of um aux channel i guess let's make it blue like everything else um and yeah the first thing we start off with is our modern series vacuum or all these plugins are free pretty much that i'll be breaking down here uh, modern series vacuum now this is pretty much like uh, i don't even know what it says there. it says just analog something um whatever but basically what this plugin does is um it just gives the vocal a more analog sound per se uh as if it's kind of being put through a vacuum tube so let me just bypass it and you can hear actually we'll talk about the first two plugins um for those who watched the last video on the best rap vocal compressors you know obviously some people don't have access to the more expensive stuff uh, these two plugins are free and they are both compressors and they will get you a similar sound out of everything I really enjoy uh, These two plugins for getting that sound. So let me bypass the two compressors per se um, This one is for taste. This one is for actual compression Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move Sipping lean in traffic cause I really like to feel removed I don't want no friend, I would rather flood my neck with jewels Even if it's winter time, I might go drop the roof Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move Sipping lean in traffic cause I really like to feel removed I don't want So, you know, I wouldn't expect you to hear something It's very minimal Um, You know, once you've trained your ears, you're gonna start hearing uh, you know the slight little things what I am hearing is that this kind of just knocks the edge off the vocal a little bit You know what I mean reduces that uh, digital sound that we all have um, I actually interesting enough use the cheapest microphone I have um, I'll actually put this I'll pull a picture up on the internet of this uh, microphone. This is a Leem 
7,400 I guess and it's a really cheap small condenser microphone not really good for recording vocals but look here I actually uh, recorded with these so you know what I mean you can get um, any sound you want as long as you focus on how to record the stuff you know what I mean um, so yeah that's our analog kind of stage the next thing we'll be looking at is our delay uh, just tiny bit of delay you know I learned this from Seth Firkins rest in peace um, but what he does on Futures vocals is just add a tiny bit of um, eighth note delay you know, you, can, you can't really hear it, but if I kind of just... You know, that it comes from the... You know what I mean? That just kind of fills in all of the odd spaces and just gives it a cool little vibe. You guys can copy those uh, uh, presets if you want, those kind of uh, whatever, whatever. But yeah, the next thing we got here is another cool EQ that I found on the internet, man. This is a really nice EQ. It is free. Uh, what I like about it, you know, obviously we're doing our roll off just to get rid of our, um, you know, lower bass that we don't need in the vocal. Um, then I'm doing a tiny bit of a boost at whatever frequency, you know, this is really all dependent on your vocal. Um, but the thing that's so cool about this plugin is that it has a saturation knob. Now that adds a bit more analog sound to the vocal. So if we bypass everything up to this point, she likes to party on the weekend, baby, make a move, sip and lean in traffic, cause you know what I mean? I can really hear it kind of hurting my ears. So we're going to turn that back on and then play. Say she likes to party on the weekend, baby, make a move, sip and lean in traffic, cause I really it just knocks the edge off everything, you know what I mean? A bit of saturation here and there, a bit of vacuum tube kind of style compression. And, you know, we, we're starting to meld our vocal, vocal into something nice. Then we're just doing a bit of basic e EQ, um, you know, lower shelf. Uh, just to kind of reduce the whole kind of lower mid-range and the bass as well as a high shelf to boost the higher frequencies and just kind of dip away what we don't want um, as you can see them dipping a bit away at 160 really basic stuff um, then we're doing some DSing now I'm personally using the RDS by Waves you can go ahead and there's actually a sale on right now so hopefully if you go and uh, pick that up for yourself this is probably the best DS in the game it's just really versatile it's really quick it's really transparent you don't really hear it too much but if you can't afford this, no worries, Fry's got you, all right? Um, Modern DSer, I forgot to say that all of these plugins are from the same developer, um, Untress. So I've been using these plugins for years, man, and they are amazing. So if you do not have the um, Waves DSer, you can use this. It comes with a preset called Vocal, and it's, it's pretty much good to go. All you need to do is adjust the threshold. But um, yeah, bit of DSing, you can watch it in action real quick. Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move, sip and lean in traffic, cause I really like to feel So anytime something pops out, it's just tame, you know what I mean? Because if you, um, you know, these things, these problems become apparent, especially in the high frequency, when you listen to music on big speakers and you can kind of hear S's and, and, and anything associated with the S, um, you know, just kind of poking out in the mix. And that can really damage um, your ears as well, if just, as well just kill the vibe of your song. So the S are just for taming high frequencies. Uh, then we're doing just a little bit of EQ just to boost where we want again, just to kind of get a bit more, you know, um, words out of the mix, you know what I mean? Just to kind of get that vocal to punch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, next thing we're doing is, this is pretty cool. Um, bit of flanger and bit of reverb, minimal reverb, just to kind of create a room. Uh, one thing I will say that people have really slept on is my uh, crystal reverb suite that, um, you know, has sold pretty cool on the website, but you know, this comes from there. Uh, there are also a lot more presets for the, um, I don't know if I have used it. Let me just see. No, I'm using an epic verb for this reverb in this template, but um, Fruity Reverb 1, there's a lot of presets that you can go ahead and find. Um, I'll kind of link that in the description, man. Go pick this up and just kind of mess around with them. If you use reverb in minimal amounts, like if I turn up the reverb, she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move, sip and lean and it's just a bit much, you know what I mean? So we, we added in like three, four percent, and it just kind of creates a, a spread effect, a stereo effect to our mono main vocal, you know what I mean? And then we kind of modulate that um reverb with a bit of fruity flangers. It's just awesome. If I turn it off, you can kind of hear the difference. Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move, sip and lean and traffic, cause I Really like to feel as I say, think of this as almost like the source to our, our meal, you know what I mean? Um, our DSing, our EQ and compression are really our um, kind of meat and potatoes. And then the reverb and flangers are kind of our, um, you know what I mean? Our extra sources and herbs and spices that we want to use. Um, next thing we're using is uh, some... I don't know if I should leave this for a different video, but um, basically because we are adding a stereo element to our mix, 
we want to tame the stereo side of everything so i'm using a mid-side compressor this is a bit complicated for those who um are still new to mixing basically what this means is i'm able to split the mono and stereo signal into stereo and mono so that way i can actually eq the mono um vocal itself so just the 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 frequencies dead center between the two speakers as well as the stereo frequencies um but i think i'll leave that for a different video because it's it's pretty complicated if you do decide to purchase this template you're covered because i've done all this for you um and then we got another sleeper of a plugin right here which we're using then to really just boost the high frequencies of our mix to get that kind of upfront aggressive toronto sound you know what i mean um i hear it in all of their mixes uh you know shout out to uh the whole of canada you know what i mean you got some good mixing engineers out there so if i turn off uh, these two plugins you can kind of hear especially with this um eq in front of us the vocal gets a bit more dimmer as you can see i'm boosting at around 10,000 hertz so that is pretty much um if i just pull up another eq 10,000 is around there you know what i mean 10,000 hertz uh you know so somewhere there uh, yeah, and then this EQ, this is actually a mastering equalizer or like a um, remake of a mastering equalizer, but it's really pokey and, and, and fun, you know what I mean? So if I just play the mix. Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make up. Pretty dull, you know what I mean? If I turn everything back on. Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move. Sip and lean in traffic because I really like to feel removed. I don't. So yeah, we're boosting, boosting at um like 2000. What does that say? 3,300, I guess, as well. And we are dipping around um, whatever frequency, 2,000 and something, just to kind of get a more analog, clean vocal effect. So yeah, next thing we're doing, which I've started to do recently, which is really important, is to add a um, multiband compressor onto your vocal bus as a whole, because as you can see, we've got our ad libs right here. Um, and we just want to tame our vocal as a whole. Multiband compressors are good at doing that because it won't compress everything. It'll just compress what is necessary. So uh, if you again, if you don't have this Waves plugin, I've got you sorted out. This preset is pretty much the same, um, but you you can see this more visually on this side. So let me play it again. Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move. Sip and lean in traffic, cause I really like to feel removed. I don't want a friend, I would rather flow by neck with jewels. Even if it's winter time, I might go drop the roof. Yeah, drop the roof. I might drop the roof. I might drop the roof. I might drop the roof. Say she likes a party. So there, as you can see, um, let me just actually, before I start talking, uh, play the, the C6. Say she likes a party on the weekend, baby, make a move Sip and lean in traffic, cause I really like to feel removed I don't want no friend, I would rather flow by neck with jewels Even if it's winter time, I might go drop the roof Yeah, drop the roof, I might drop the roof I might drop the roof, I might drop the Ooh, I was worried my computer's gonna crash there. But there you go. Um, just a bit of like, think of this as the massage of the mix. Just the last bit of, um, you know what I mean, compression needed. Just to kind of round up our vocal, you know what I mean? And then we're using something cool, man. You know, since a lot of people don't have waves, the W1 limiter, go and check this out. This is just, uh, you know, Seth Firkin said that you must use this on your, your last bit of vocal chain and so i do because it sounds amazing this is a free alternative to the waves l1 and it sounds amazing um i'll just quickly run through the ad lib right so let me just pull up pretty much all these plugins at once um so if i kind of go to the middle of the song uh let me just mute the main vocal and just kind of get rid of that telephone effect my bad i'm getting used to still using um, my microphone in here but yeah as you can see i'm just EQing out the bass um i'm using this free panomatic as an automated lfo so basically it pans the vocal from left to right for me so i don't have to pull up automation clip you can kind of go and play around with that um and then we're using this modern exciter again from the untress so exactly the same as these plugins over here um just to kind of brighten, brighten our vocal so as you can see there I'm, I'm using this excitation knob right there really awesome stuff a bit of 3d reverb again same concept but this time we want to go a bit more wet in terms of the reverb a bit longer decay time so we get that that airy vocal sound you know what i mean and then again we smash it with the l1 um so yeah that's pretty much what i need to show you in this video you know what i mean if you do enjoy the sound of this template um you know feel free feel free to stop by my web store and show some support you know what i mean it's always appreciated uh if you do have a song you'd like mixed by me you can hit me up uh my email is 
some way you can go and check out my website as well um and yeah i'll pump it through some and gear and we can make some great music uh it is your boy fry i hope you enjoyed the video drop a like uh and you know it's always nice doing these videos so till next time peace out